you might have seen already that many Muslims around the world on the internet pick this NASA picture and show this as evidence that the moon splitting miracle was real. <laughs> A rill like this forms due to changes on the ground level, like erosion or lava collapses, and other totally scientific reasons. The chance that this happened due to the splitting of the moon is 0%. Even though if the moon had been split at some point, there wouldn't be a rift now. It would be broken and deformed. The splitting and uniting of the moon in a, in a single night is something amazing, something that is very extraordinary, something that it's not a naturally occurring event. Uh, we, we as Muslims are not claiming that this was some kind of a natural event, that you know some asteroid just came and hit the moon. No, this was a miracle. This was a sign from the creator of the universe that this man, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a true prophet of God. So... Is it even scientifically possible? That's the first question that we're going to address tonight. Is it scientifically possible that a moon can merge, break or merge and then become one moon? Can it even happen? Well, uh, according to NASA, and I'm putting a link to NASA's website, uh, many of these pictures that, that are being shown are from NASA themselves. I'm not, they're not doctored, they're not edited, they're not photoshopped. These are NASA pictures. Now, I am not claiming that NASA is, is in agreement with a lot of these things. What I am showing is what their research showed, and you can look at it on their website. So if you look at the picture on your screen today, and this again, you can find all of these on NASA's website itself, and I've put a link in the description. You'll have to search around there. Um, the moon has two, our moon, the Earth's moon, has two very different faces. One that is facing towards the Earth and one that is facing away from the Earth. And they're very different. Well, why is that? One of the theories that's put forward by NASA themselves is that this is because there was a merging. And this is now the picture you have on your screen. This is also an artist's rendering of a theory put forward by NASA scientists that there was a merging of two moons into one in our moon of the Earth's moon. So what does this tell you? There, it is very possible that our moon has been merged back together. And one of the evidences that you can find for this, as you will see in the picture now, are these ridges, which are called Rima, Rima meaning uh, grooves, right? Uh, and there is the Rima Artadias, which is 300 kilometers. In fact, all across the moon, in different places, you will find these cracks. Well, what causes them? There are many theories. One of them being that, as we mentioned before, that the two moons that collided caused these ridges. I'm not claiming that NASA knows the answer, but they have taken these pictures and put forward these theories as well. The research, led by Dr. Tom Waters from the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, involved searching thousands of lunar images for specific fault structures called lobate scarps. We know the moon is shrinking by looking at the lobate scarps in detail. They actually reflect the crustal materials of the moon being pushed together, breaking, and being thrust over one another. So that indicates that something has been causing the moon to actually contract or shrink. Two years ago, we reported evidence that the moon is shrinking. Now we've found evidence that the moon is actually being pulled apart, forming features called graben. So the shrinking moon, it turns out, is not shrinking everywhere. Some places, the moon is actually expanding by a little bit. So finding these young graben was a real surprise because we thought, well, all these lobate scarps are telling us the moon is shrinking. So what are these little small graben that are telling us the moon is pulling apart? How does this all fit together? 